So as Devin mentioned, we're going to get rain later this week. And as we prepare for that, some people in New Orleans will have a new roof to protect them. And it's all thanks to a group of volunteers from across the country who came to help Hurricane Ida victims free of charge. WDSU's Morgan Lintis has more on what this generous gift means for one homeowner. I said, we'll be finished tomorrow. Really? Ronald McGee still can't believe his luck. With other things that were needed, I just don't know how long it would have taken me to get to this point. Over the weekend, a team of volunteers descended on his house, replacing the roof, the railings, and even the peeling paint. Ronald was born and raised in a city known for its music, so he couldn't help but sing their praises. They are sincere. They are they're thorough. They are professional. I mean, it's amazing. It's just, I, like, I'm at a loss for words, honestly. Like, it's just, it's great. Volunteer Kaylin Davis came from Texas, others as far away as Ohio. They're here for the International Roofing Exposition and partnered with local nonprofit Rebuilding Together New Orleans. Our goal is to provide 50 families in the New Orleans area with new roofs by July 1st. But William Stout admits that will just scratch the surface. He says tens of thousands of people need repairs after Ida and many can't afford it. The work at this home alone totals $15,000. Between the roof, the painting, all those different things, that's more than some of our homeowners make in a year. Meaning their efforts won't stop anytime soon. For Ronald, his wait is over, but he says he's still thinking about the others in need. You have to, and if you're so one-sided that you can't see beyond yourself, you have an issue, and that issue is with you. Morgan Lentis, WDSU News. All right, you can see this story again, and you can learn more about the volunteer efforts on our website right now, WDSU.com.